move us on a world now. Moving over to Australia, where a huge floral tribute is still growing at Westfield Bondi Junction, as mourners try to make sense of Saturday's deadly stamp, stabbing rampage. The incident was reported to have claimed six innocent lives. Several other people have been rushed to hospital with serious injuries, including the nine-month-old baby who has undergone surgery. Recall that emergency services descended on Westfield Bondi Junction on Saturday afternoon after terrified shoppers raised the alarm. Police Commissioner Karen Webb, during an interview, gave updates on the investigation of the police. Well, following handing back the crime scene, uh, many, many, and in fact hundreds of exhibits have been seized by police and will be now subject to forensic investigation over the coming days and weeks. Uh, in addition, detectives will be in interviewing family members for those who died. Uh, that will be a slow and painstaking process, as you can imagine, dealing with people in trauma, as will interviewing of witnesses. Overnight, uh, another 50 witnesses have come forward, and we anticipate other people will come forward. And if anyone hasn't yet spoken to police or made themselves known to police, we ask them to call Crime Stoppers so that police can reach back out to them uh, at a suitable time to interview them. As you can imagine, it's been a horrendous and very confronting crime scene. I imagine it will be time required to clean that scene and prepare store owners and occupants ready for reopening. So that will be something that we work with them uh, to assist them on that process uh, and they'll make that announcement when they're ready.